king of love, my shepherd is, whose goodness faileth never. I nothing lack if I am his, and he Welcome back to another Children's Chapel. I'm so glad you're here today. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll light our candles together and then let's sing oops, this little light of mine. I don't know about you all, but after we sang that song together last week, I had it going through my head all week and I really enjoyed that because every time I started humming it, I thought about all my friends from Sunday school. All right, shall we sing? Here we go. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Great job. Now this week, our story um, is gonna talk about a special animal. It's the sheep. Now what are some ways a sheep is important to us? One way sheep are very important to us is that they give us wool and many things are made of wool. Mostly we think of like sweaters and stuff like that. And the great thing about wool is they're very warm. But sheep need someone to take care of them, right? Does anyone know what that person is called? A shepherd, very good. So today's story is about the good shepherd. And um, this is a story that Jesus told people and he told them that people are like sheep and he is like the good shepherd, okay? So we're gonna learn all about that today. Before we read our story together, let's pray together. All right. Dear God, thank you for taking care of sheep and for taking care of me. Help me listen to your word now. Amen. All right, let's hear the story of the Good Shepherd. Jesus wanted people to know that he would always love them and take care of them. He called himself the Good Shepherd and told people that they were like the sheep. Some people didn't understand so Jesus told them this story. The little lamb was lost. Bah, said the little lamb. Bah. The sun slowly slid out of sight. The little lamb shivered in the cold night air. Bah. It smelled danger. Nearby, a hungry wolf hid behind a thorny bush. Bah, cried the little lamb, bah. Down in the valley, a shepherd guarded his flock of sheep, watching and listening. See, here's the little lost lamb, and down here in the valley is the shepherd with his sheep. The animal slept peacefully in the cool green grass. A small stream delicately danced in the evening breeze. A gust of wind swept across the valley. The shepherd paused. Bah, he heard in the distance. Bah! 
He knew the voice of his little lamb. Even though it was dark, the shepherd started up the rocky path that led toward the lost lamb. Don't be afraid, the shepherd called out. I will find you. I will keep you safe. The little lamb heard the shepherd's voice. Slowly, he stumbled down the path. A branch scraped his leg. Bah, he cried. The little lamb was scared. He waited for the shepherd to find him. Bah, he said, bah. When the shepherd reached the lamb, he gently picked him up and held him close. There you are, said the shepherd. I have found you. I will carry you home. After he told this story, Jesus said, See, I am a shepherd too. Just like a good shepherd cares for each and every sheep in the flock, I care for each and every one of you. Now, we can tell about that story both with our voice like I just did and with our hands. I'm gonna teach you the sign language for Jesus cares for us like a good shepherd. Now, some of you might remember the sign for Jesus from when we sing, um, Jesus loves me. It goes like this. You can remember it's like the nails going into Jesus's hands um, when he was crucified. So this is the sign for Jesus. That's our first one. The next one is cares and cares goes like this. You make two V's, put them on top of each other and go around in a circle. So that's cares. We have Jesus cares for us like a good. So the next sign we're gonna do is good. You hold one hand out, put one to your chin, and then go down. Good, good. So we have Jesus cares for us like a good. And the last word we're gonna learn is shepherd. And this one actually combines several signs. So the first one is um, cares, so it's cares, and then sheep. Sheep is like you're holding a little lamb and giving it a haircut, okay? Sheep, so cares, sheep, and the last part is person, and that's how we say shepherd. Shepherd. All right, let's try and put it all together. Jesus cares for us like a good shepherd. Very good. All right, now I thought we could play a little game where we learn some interesting facts about sheep. So this is a true false game. I'm gonna read some facts about sheep and I want you all to tell me if you think it's true or false. Let's see how much you all know about sheep. All right, the first one is, sheep have four parts to their stomach. True or false? This one is true. If you guess true, you're right. And animals like sheep that have four parts to their stomachs are called ruminants. All right, ready for the next one? Sheep are amphibians. True or false? False. Um, sheep are actually mammals, not amphibians. Here's our next fact. Sheep will drink any kind of water, even if it's dirty. True or false? This one is false as well. Sheep won't drink um, water even if it's a little bit dirty. Even if it just has a little bit of algae in it, sheep won't drink it. They like clean water. All right, here's our next fact. Sheep throw up their food and eat it again. True or false? True. Um, that's something else unique about ruminants. They have four stomachs and they throw up their food and eat it again. That one's true. Here's the next one. Sheep can recognize familiar human faces. If you guess true, you're right. Um, this one's true as well. Human and sheep faces sheep can recognize. 
and they can even understand emotions through facial expressions, just like we do. They can, if they see someone who looks sad, they can tell that or happy. It's pretty cool, right? All right, here's our next sheep fact. Sheep hair can be made into wool. True, very good. Um, sheep hair is nice and warm. That wool that's made out of sheep hair is nice and warm, so it's often used to make clothes. And sometimes it's, it's itchy, but again, it's really warm, so it makes a good sweater. All right, here's our last sheep fact. Let's see if you all can get this one. Very young sheep are called ewes. True or false? If you guessed false, you are correct. Um, ewes are actually female sheep, and the baby sheep are called lambs. That's right. Great job. That was fun. Now I've got another game idea for you to play at home with your family. And this is a little bit like playing hot and cold. Um, I'm sure some of you have played that one before. So for this game, you are going to hide something to be a sheep. Maybe you have a little stuffed sheep. If you don't, that's okay. You can pick something else to represent your sheep. So hide your sheep. And then um, the shepherd's gonna keep their eyes closed while you hide the sheep. And then the shepherd can start to look around. And as the shepherd gets closer and closer to your sheep, you're gonna ba. So if they get close, you can say ba. If they get closer, go ba, ba and then see if they can find the sheep that you um, that's lost, just like the shepherd did in our story today. I hope you have fun with that one. I can't wait to hear. All right, so before we end today, we're gonna say a prayer together. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to take care of me everywhere I go, each and every day. Amen. And I hope you all remember that you have Jesus taking care of you each and every day, everywhere you go, just as a good shepherd takes care of his sheep. Have a wonderful week. And so through all the lengths of days, thy goodness faileth never. Good shepherd, may I sing thy praise.